welcome to my channel. My name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is my very first one week me made of 2024. So these are the sorts of videos where I go through every single day of the week and I record myself and a little bit of what I'm doing during the day as well as what I'm wearing, which is hopefully me made. And I will reflect on those garments that I've made because sometimes when I share them, when I've initially made them, they haven't had what I call any wearing experience. So I like to then just have a quick chat about what it is that I either like or dislike about that garment and whether it's something I'm potentially going to keep or get rid of or replicate or change or et cetera, et cetera. And on the days where I don't wear anything me made, then I can sort of share where those gaps are in my in my wardrobe. So I hope that's something that you enjoy. Now, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to everybody that supported me through 2023 and also anybody that has supported me for a very long time or even from the very word go when I first started doing my YouTube videos. It means a huge amount to me and your support really makes doing these videos worthwhile. So thank you for every watch, every like, every comment and every other bit of support. I've had people that have supported me on my Kofi account and bought me a coffee to say thank you and you know support me in what I do, which obviously all that sort of thing helps towards um, being able to produce more content and me being able to buy more things to be able to share with you, etc, etc. And also follow me over my on my Instagram account and my Instagram DStash account, um, all those different things. So all of that sort of thing is in the comments below if you aren't aware of any of that and you wanted to have a little look at that. Um, and obviously, if you do go over onto my Instagram account, please do give me a follow. If you aren't subscribed to me, it would be really great if you could subscribe. Um, and if you already are, thank you very much. <laughs> So, sorry, I promise I won't do that every video that I do, but I just feel like, you know, it's a new year. I'm just going to say thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> OK, so on to what I'm wearing today. So I am wearing a ready to wear cardigan and I'm wearing some ready to wear jeans, which are some Levi jeans. They're not tight. They're nice sort of straight leg jeans, which I seem to find more comfortable. I used to live in in skin tight jeans and I just can't bear the thought of wearing them anymore. I have got one pair and every so often I wear them and I think, oh, they're just so uncomfortable. So is that an age thing? I'm not quite sure what that is. Or maybe my skinny jeans are just a bit too tight for me. Maybe it's that. But the, um, the garment that I'm wearing that is handmade is my True Bias Nico top. So I'll take this off so you can see it a bit more and I'll stand back well actually I can't stand back because I'm by the settee but I'll there you go I'll do that so you can see it so it's a long sleeve fairly well fitted um turtleneck top you know there's nothing more exciting to share about it other than that basically I put this on today thinking I've got lots to do I've got a bit of running around to do it's absolutely ridiculously cold at the moment so I wanted to wear something that was warm but I've got lots and lots of things to do so I didn't want to get too hot either and this felt like a good compromise. Now the thing with this garment is I have two of these Nico tops. This one in white which this fabric is a ribbed jersey that I got gifted to me from Minerva.com. They gave it to me in exchange for a blog post and I actually made a top for my daughter but I made a big mistake with it when I was making it because I washed it and dried it. And when I took it off the dryer, I felt like the fabric was um, flat enough. I didn't need to iron it. And, and it's so lazy of me because ordinarily I would iron absolutely anything that I make. So, or before I start making it and cutting it out and all that kind of thing. But I just obviously was having a lazy moment, decided not to. Anyway, um, I cut it all out. And as I was making it, you iron all the seams and do all that kind of thing and then gave it a press afterwards, which obviously then stretched out the fabric, which made the garment so much bigger. And my daughter's teeny tiny and obviously where I'd cut it out and then it expanded, it was just far too big for her. So I kept this, but thankfully there was enough fabric for me to make her a top as well. So I ironed it with an inch of its life and made it again. So I've got this top, which wasn't initially for me, and I've got a black version of this top. And I wear the black version 
all the time. I, I, I wear it underneath things. I wear it, in fact, I wore it the other day underneath my new um, closet called Blanca flight suit and that looked quite nice. It was you know, quite a different look wearing it with a roll neck top underneath it. I, um, I wear it just with jeans. I wear it under dungarees, pinafores, that kind of thing. You know, it's the sort of thing that I just pull out all the time. Why do I not pull out the white one? I don't know. I don't know why I don't pull this out. And this morning when I was choosing what I was going to wear, I thought, I don't wear that. Let's put it on. Let's see why I don't like it. Thinking I was going to get to the end of the day and think, do you know what? I don't want to wear this anymore. But actually, I do like it. I think it's just because it's white, but it's also long sleeved. I don't know in my head, maybe am I am I thinking white is summery and therefore I shouldn't wear it in the winter. But then in the summer, it's two roll neck and long sleeves to, to wear in the summer. I don't know. I don't know what's in my head to make me not pick it out of the wardrobe and wear. But after wearing it today, which is why this is a good exercise to do, after wearing it today, it's made me think I do need to pull it out a bit more. And like I said, I've got it on with this ready to wear. Oh, <laughs> I've just realised I've still got the labels in my cardigan. <laughs> um, I've got it on with this ready to wear cardigan. That's from Joe Brown's. I will cut the labels out, um, that my husband got me for Christmas. Now, I chose this cardigan because I like the idea of um, the look that it was styled up as in the catalogue. And it was styled with a white t-shirt. I think it was just a t-shirt, a white t-shirt and a pair of creamy, stony coloured trousers. Now, this with the jeans, I don't, it's okay and it's fine, but it's too much of the same colour. And I think this would look really nice with, um, this cardigan would look nice with this on and a pair of stone coloured trousers. And I am going to make, I know I keep saying it, I just don't get round to doing it. I am going to make the um, Anna Allen Philippa pants soon, <laughs> promise. Um, so I've got this on today. I feel like it's a, this looks a bit sort of really over the top and I, and and what have you. I don't know whether that's my imagination or not. Um, I feel like maybe if this is a round neck t-shirt that, that would look a bit more casual, I'm not sure. But I, I've i had this on today. I've just popped out, I've just dropped my daughter over to her boyfriends. They're going climbing this afternoon. So um, yeah, I've just jumped in the car with this on and that's nice. When I'm moving around the house in a little bit, I'll probably take this off. Um, we, what have we done today? John and I have been to Pilates, so I had active wear on this morning. I've got showered and changed. I have just, I've bunged my hair up in a thinny clip and I haven't actually done anything with it. And now, now that it's gone beyond, you know, an hour or two of me having had a shower, I know I can't be bothered to do anything with my hair. So it was a bit nauseous, really. I did waffles this morning. Oh my gosh, my daughter gave me, I know I'm going off tangent, I'm so sorry. My daughter gave me and my husband a three-in-one toasty maker thing. So it's this this machine where you sort of squidge down and you can put a sandwich in and it makes it into a toasty. But you can change the plates that are within the machine and you can do a toasty, you can do a panini, or you can make waffles. And I haven't had a toasty yet. My husband and my girls have. And I think one of them's had the panini. But I've made waffles a couple of times. Oh my gosh. They are to die for. They are so yummy. I absolutely love them. But I didn't know my husband wasn't sticking around this morning. He's gone off to the to his unit to go and do car stuff, car stuff, motorbikes, manly stuff that I don't know what it is. Anyway, he's up there doing that sort of thing. So it was only my daughter and I that were here, left here to do, um, you know, to have the waffles and. <laughs> There's loads of them and I'm really full because I had them with chocolate spread and I had them with strawberries and blueberries and then I had some with syrup and some with strawberries and I'm so stuffed. So all that healthy eating mindset that I had that I was going to do in January has already gone out the window. But just saying, never mind. Anyway, maybe that's why my skinny jeans don't fit. <laughs> um, so yeah, my daughter's gone off. I'm actually going to do a little bit of sewing this afternoon. Um, or I'm going to do some cutting out. I probably won't actually manage to do any sewing. And then we're going over to my parents for a meal this evening. Um, hopefully it's roast. They didn't say if it was roast, but it's Sunday. So it should be a roast, shouldn't it, really, strictly speaking. <laughs> I'll be putting in a complaint if it's not. No, I won't really, promise. <laughs> so yeah, we're going over to my parents. And again, I thought this was sort of casual enough, but still slightly dressed up enough that it 
sort of look nice. Anyway, I've waffled on for 10 minutes already and I'm so sorry. This is only day one. I promise the rest of the days won't be as much as this, but I did want to say a thank you to everybody. So I'm going to carry on and do that. I've shown you what I'm wearing today and I will speak to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hiya. So it is actually Wednesday today and um, I recorded something on Monday and I recorded something on Tuesday. I don't quite know what I've done, but I've ended up deleting what I recorded. <laughs> so you've got Sunday and you've got Wednesday. I will put in a couple of pictures here of what I was wearing, but I promise I will still do a full seven days. I just don't quite know what happened really. So either I've deleted them or I, I don't know. I don't quite know what happened. Hopefully this will record and it will stay recorded. Anyway, so on the day after, yeah, Monday, I wore um, a pair of jeans and I think I just had on a um, stripy top, um, which was the Jennifer Lauren Gable top. And I made that in a French terry that I was where, um, that I had as part of a kit from Guthrie Garni. And then yesterday I just had on, because it was so cold and I was at work, a Southbank sweater dress, which is a Nina Lee pattern in a quilted fabric from Sewers Faction. And yesterday it was so cold even my dog had her big woolly jumper on and um yeah <laughs> so she was she was as wrapped up as I was in fact my daughter took the most adorable picture of her during the day while she was at home studying with her she's crocheted oh excuse me she's crocheted a blanket and she put the blanket over and she just took this picture I mean she looks a right mess but it was just very very cute so yeah sorry about that anyway on to today so I have been at work all day today at the school and it's really cold there at the moment well it's just cold everywhere and um it's obviously a really big building so you know they get cold don't they so I've got on a fleecy kind of dress now I don't wear this dress very often and again I thought I would do the whole let's take it out of the cupboard see if I like it see if I enjoy wearing it and I'm a little bit on the fence with it so you may recognize it if you've watched my videos before this is the so over it Estelle dress now so over it Estelle dress I flip in love absolutely love this dress I've made I think I've oh I've made two versions of this I've made a black version which I really really love and I've made another version in velvet which I haven't shared with you yet which I will be on a makes video soon and that I made that for Christmas and I do like that version as well I just my black one is my favorite one um but I've made this one and this is in a French terry or a fleecy soft sweat not French terry soft sweat and I will put a picture in just in case you can't see it in full. It is a very, very long version. And because the, the fabric is so thick and it's so, um, it, there's no sort of um, slidiness to it, if you like. I've only had to do the tie once. So it's very difficult to see because it's so patterned. But you've got this bit here and then just a tie on the side. And you're meant to tie that together with, with two knots or, you know, normally goes together with two knots. But because this is so thick, you just, you don't need to, and it doesn't slide around, so it just stays in place. And it is quite a nice dress. And I think the reason I don't like this quite so much is A, it wasn't meant to be in a thick fabric, and that's fine, It you know, it doesn't matter. But I think it is just too long. And I think if I, literally and I was going to do this last year and then I never got around to it but if this just literally came to there I think this would be a much more wearable dress or even maybe just slightly under the knee but at the moment I'm not so keen on it and a couple of people like my daughter when I said to her about it they said oh I quite like it long mum I think it's really nice but when I've been walking around with it today, because it's such thick fabric, you're only ever going to wear it in cold weather. So you're only going to wear it with big, thick tights. And because it's so long, it kind of moves up. And well, it's either pulled my tights down or the dress has moved up one way or the other. And I've kind of spent the whole day kind of doing this or sneaking into little corners and doing that because obviously you don't want to do that in public. So yeah, so I'm not 100% on this dress, but it's I'm not ready to give up on it just yet. Now the idea I had, because it has quite a wide neckline, which I love the look of this neckline, but I'm quite cold and I have been quite cold. And I do like my South Bank sweater dress with that sort of slouchy sort of nice neck around. And I did wonder what if 
I cut this off. I think I would have enough fabric then, what's left on the bottom, to make some sort of detachable cowl neck, or not detachable, but you know, just a, a cowl neck that I can just plonk on top to make my neck feel nice and warm and, and a little bit, not as chilly. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. So let me know if, what you think. I know Karen from So Little Time, she does a infinity type scarf and it looks lovely. And in fact, um, on our advent calendars from Andrew Beyond the Pink Door, she did a tutorial on an on a infinity scarf as well. So between the two of those different tutorials and um, Karen and Andrea, I think I'd be able to come up with some sort of um, scarf to put with this to to be able to wear when it's really cold, take off when it's not quite as cold, that kind of thing. So yeah, let me know. So I am actually going to go and get changed in a minute because this really looks kind of nice with boots, but I've had my boots on today and my feet are a bit sore, but my daughter wants to go for a nice a nice long walk. And she said, a long walk and a, and a hot drink, which I'm thinking is a Costa, probably a hot chocolate. And you know, I'm really up for that, but I want my foot to not feel sore. So I think I'm going to get changed and put some trainers on and go and do that. So that's going to be my evening tonight, plus whatever we have to eat. And then tomorrow, I've got a bit of a spare day. And other than doing a bit of housework, I am going to try and do a bit of planning in terms of my sewing. And I'm also going to hopefully do a little bit of sewing as well. So I will take you along for that. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hiya. So it is Thursday today and I have not been at work. And there is Ellen in the background. It's very late. Hello. It's about nine o'clock in the evening, isn't it? Um, ten o'clock. Oh, is it ten o'clock? Yeah gosh so i haven't actually had anything me made on today i have had gym kit on all day um i went well i cleaned up the house this morning and then i went for a swim which was lovely and then just put on some sports gear, gear because it was the easiest thing to put on and um i haven't haven't changed all day after i had my shower and what have you so i haven't had anything me made on it has made me think and ellen it was actually ellen that said about it um I need some nice joggers and I think I do I think I would like to make myself a nice pair of joggers yeah Alan's saying about going and buying some but I think I would like oh, to make yeah. some <laughs> so I'd like to make some so Ellen has been um teaching me to do a bit of crochet and I've done my very very first granny square let me show you it's got all the tail ends on it there we go quite chuffed with that it's not very neat there's a big of a squiffy yeah. bit there yeah there's a weird squiffy bit up here I don't quite know what I've done there but it's my very very first attempt at it I'm quite pleased with that Ellen's actually doing or she demonstrated the granny square herself as she was doing it hers looks a lot neater than mine <laughs> but Ellen is crocheting a jumper herself aren't you yeah, the where's the other yarn that you've got to go with it so you've got neutrals neutrals that's going to be really nice so you're going to have a stripy jumper yeah um ellen just makes it up i don't know how she does it but anyway she just makes it up because i can't be bothered to follow past i don't know what i'm going to do now i've done this i don't know whether i should just practice and do another granny square and see if i can get it neater that's probably what i should do mm. and i can now remember what i do around each of those edges but i cannot remember how we started <laughs> so i'm gonna to have to have a little Relapse I'll write out the instructions <laughs> of what to do on that. Um, anyway, you got, I you got your wool for a pound as well. Yeah, I did. I got my wool for a pound um, from Chaplin's. <laughs> well, I thought, well, I may as well have something fairly inexpensive while I'm just practicing. But yeah, that's quite good. Maybe I'll not. I'm not saying my granny square is quite good. I'm saying the crochet was good to do. So I'm going to have another little go at doing another one. See how that goes, and then. Um, Maybe I can advance onto straight crocheting like Ellen is doing. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hiya, it's Friday today and I'm talking quite quietly because Ellen is upstairs doing an exam. Um, so I am here. I, I actually went to the gym this morning because previously when Ellen's done an exam, it's better if I'm out of the house. And um, she rang me to say, Lottie just keeps barking. <laughs> I don't know why you were barking but she was being a little bit naughty and she just said I don't think it's going to work today so I got to the gym and literally got to the car park turned around and came back home again 
um, which is fine. Um, so I've made myself a nice hot cup of tea. I'm now sat with Lottie giving her big snuggles and cuddles because she was disturbing Ellen and Ellen has just started her exam now. So she's going to be an hour. So we're just going to sit very, very quietly. And I'm going to do something really naughty. I've seen lots of fabric that I like and I think I'm going to sit and potentially narrow it down so I'm not getting as much. Maybe treat myself to a couple of bits of fabric. I keep saying I'm not going to buy any more. I'm going to, I'm going to use it on my stash, but I've seen some really nice stuff. <laughs> And I've also seen some really nice um, images of clothing that I'd like to recreate as well. So I might try and share that with you in another video once I've potentially got the um, got all of the, the fabric and what have you. I need to start planning what I'm going to make and I'm finding it really difficult. And I know lots and lots of people go through the same thing. I don't think I'm going to do Make 9 this year because in the past when I've done Make 9, I've never stuck to it so I just feel like it's a, a silly thing for me to do I love it when I see that people have and their plans come to fruition and it's that's really great or if they don't come to fruition the reasons behind it etc but I feel like my head's in a bit of a muddle at the moment because I've got a gazillion and that is a number a gazillion <laughs> different outfits patterns fabrics etc that I want to make I feel a little bit like I don't know where to start. I have got a sewing social day on Sunday, which I will take you along to as well, um, which has come up all of a sudden because I didn't realise it was on. And then Lizzie from Make said, did you know there's one on? So I was like, oh, no, I don't. And I was free this Sunday. So I've booked myself on, which would be lovely to do. But I need to work out what I'm going to make and take with me. I have got a dress all cut out, ready to make for Amy. So I could make that and that would be the most sensible thing to do. I think that might be what I do because otherwise I think I'm going to end up rushing, trying to wash a piece of fabric and cut it out and ready to take with me. Whereas that is all done. So it just makes the most sense, doesn't it? So I think that is probably what I'll do. And it is Amy's birthday coming up soon. So it'd be nice if I can get it done and finished and sent off for her. So today is going to be about... Um, I'm spending the day with Ellen once she's finished her exam. This is her last exam for this week. Next week, she's got more exams, but obviously after today, she just wants to chill out. So we're going to chill out. She wants to go and have a look around a few shops and things. So we're going to go and do that. I'll get changed. Um, and then um, I've got a friend coming around this afternoon and then I'm going to see a friend of mine later on this evening. So it's a bit of a chill day today, which is quite nice. So yeah, so we're just going to do a bit of fabric shopping, aren't we, Lottie? Hey? She's like that. I'm not very impressed. <laughs> she just wants cuddles. Bless her. Right, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. Hiya, so it is now Friday afternoon and I have spent the afternoon having a good old chin rag and yap with a friend of mine, which has been lovely. I am going out this afternoon, at, this afternoon, I am going out this evening just to visit a friend, just for a cup up at her house as well. So today I have changed into something which is not really my style at all. And I just thought I'd have a little bit of a play with this to see how I felt about it. Now, this is something that I actually completely copied from the lovely man Yi who was on um, the sewing bee a year ago it wasn't this last one it was the one before and I saw her at a knitting and stitching show and she had on this exact same outfit and she just looked really really lovely now I've completely copied her same fabric and everything I don't know what top she had on underneath she might have had a slightly different top on but it was still a roll neck top like this and it looks totally different on me and isn't it funny when different people wear exactly the same thing and it can look very different on different body shapes I'm not completely okay with this I've had it on all day today and I I felt quite good when I put it on with a jacket and a scarf to go out that felt completely fine so I'll stand up and show you what it looks like and I will put a picture in of what it looked like when I had on a, a jacket and everything as well because that looked better but this is it so it's the long version of the saltwater slip dress by Friday Pattern Company and I've made it in this fabric from um, Fabric Godmother now, I did wear this when I was on my holiday, and if I can, I'll try and put a picture of me in wearing it when I 
have it on just as the dress. And if I'm absolutely honest, I don't think I love it even then either. I don't know if it's the shape of the dress or it's the fabric or quite what it is, but it's just not for me. And I'm so gutted because I've seen this dress on so many other people and it looks so lovely, but I just don't feel like it's quite right for me. So I, I am a little bit gutted about it, but at the end of the day, you've got to feel right in, in what you're wearing. I have tied the um, ties slightly differently so it has ties which you don't have to put on so you could just leave it completely loose like this um, but it can be tied just at the back like that um, but I actually felt more comfortable wearing it bringing it slightly around to the front as well so it goes right around the back and then round the front as well. I just felt that gave me slightly more definition, not much, but a little bit more definition. I don't think I like this look of it over a top. Again, my knee had it on and it looked absolutely brilliant and I really love what that looked like. I'm not loving it on me. So I've got this on with the True Bias Nico top, which is a top that I had on earlier in the week, the white one that I showed you. And it's in a ribbed fabric from Minerva that I bought it's very thin, very inexpensive. I think it's only about three or four pound a meter. Um, this ribbed, this ribbed jersey, um, and you know I wear it with everything. It's it's great, but I just don't think it quite works with this. So it's a bit of a shame. But again, this is what part of doing these videos is. Although it's nice for me to share content with you and share with you what I'm wearing, it is also quite nice to reflect back on what I have got and I wanted to pull something out of my wardrobe that I haven't worn and try something different and this just isn't a winner for me. So I think I am possibly going to sell this dress which is a shame because it's beautiful, beautiful fabric but it's just not for me and there you go. It's not that I'm not, you know, I haven't felt horrible in it, I just haven't felt quite right in it. Oh and just, um, just to say, I've got tights on and this does have a split in it so it has a split each side like that um, and I do wonder actually if this would have looked better if I had it as a short version sort of like that don't know um, but I've got this on and I've got a slip on underneath so that when I'm walking it doesn't stick to my tights and that just does make it a little bit better and because it's cold weather it's another extra layer as well so that's great anyway I've got to try and come up with something that I'm going to sew on Sunday and there was something that I suddenly thought of this afternoon and I have got all washed I need to cut it out but I have washed already the fabric and the lining fabric for the Jessica Cota gun from Sew Over It and I'm just wondering whether I should get that cut out and then maybe I could sew that on Sunday which would be quite a nice thing to do because it's wintry so that would be a good sort of seasonal piece to make as well. Obviously, I've then got the dress that I might make for Amy too. So we'll see. But anyway, that's it for today. I will probably see, well, I will. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Hiya, so it's Saturday today and it's about the middle of the afternoon. I'm going to go and visit a friend of mine this afternoon. Um, we're just going to meet up at Costa and have a, a cuppa together. And the Costa is actually in a next shop so we might go and have a little bindle around as well um so today i am makeup bliss i'm feeling a little bit scruffy if i'm honest but um i just i just need to feel comfy today so i've got on my quick so i think it's k3897 but if it's not i'll put it in the description below um my dungarees that i made in this gorgeous needle cord that i got from makeup 140 so it's got a pocket there it's got two pockets here it joins at the side it's got a waist sort of band um like that um and i've got on a rio t-shirt which is a true bias t-shirt i'll just show you quickly what that looks like it's just a plain white t-shirt um in this really nice you know t-shirt cotton um cotton jersey so i am going to put that on in a second i'm going to be doing all the colors today <laughs> i'm probably be a bit too bright and a bit too um over the top but you know what <laughs> a bit beyond caring today um i've got this gorgeous scarf that my husband got me for christmas um i think it was last year it's sort of got stars and hearts on it on one side and it's sort of checkered on the other so i'm going to put that on 
and just add some more pattern and <laughs> just go full patterny today. I'm gonna to put that on and I'm gonna have that on with my denim jacket. And I'll put, obviously I'll put some pumps or some shoes on or something because I don't really know what other jacket kind of goes with these dungarees. So I think something plain is better, she says, whilst putting on a pattern scarf. Um, I've had a bit of a disaster today. I've, oh, I'll get this on. I've cut out a pattern. I am a pattern insider for Sew Over It. It's very exciting. And I can't wait to get going with it and, and share, share you know, the new pattern and everything with you, which obviously I can't do at the moment. Um, but I didn't measure myself and I've cut the pattern out in the size that I always make and sew over. And I did check the pattern measurements on the pattern details um, and I should be a size 12 based on my measurements. And I've and I've thank goodness I've done a toile and I've put on part of it and it just doesn't fit at all and I was a bit like oh that's really strange and I have then remeasured myself and I've put like a good two inches on like everywhere so I'm feeling a bit like <laughs> at the moment I'm not gonna lie I've got quite a few things that I want to make at the moment um different dresses and things like that which I know they're not overly fitted but they're semi-fitted and I'm like well there's just no point at the moment so yeah feeling a little bit feeling a little bit flat if I'm honest so tomorrow when I go to my sewing social I'm definitely going to take with me the dress that I've got cut out for Amy and I'm going to cut out if I've got time later tonight I'm going to cut out the sew over it Jessica or I think it's Jessica coat again because if I make that it's it's quite oversized anyway and it doesn't really matter if I'm bigger so it's going to be fine um and um and then I'm going to think about what I can do to reduce those two inches <laughs> anyway I'm not going to dwell on that too much it is what it is um it's just a bit annoying and I'm just being honest and sharing how I feel about it today so there you go anyway I'm going to go off and see my friend and I will take you on the sewing social tomorrow because I think it'd be nice to share that with you so I'll see you tomorrow bye hi so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the sponsors of this video and that is serious readers and I thought the best way to do that was to share with you my sewing setup so this is where I normally sew it's my daughter's bedroom um She's not here, don't worry. I haven't just completely taken over her room. She's at uni. So I have this desk here and I have another desk just behind me here, which normally has my overlocker on. And what I have is a normal ceiling light, which is, I can't remember what it is. I think it's a 60 watt bulb. I have got a ring light on while I'm talking to you right now. So obviously that's you know, illuminating the room to some extent, and hopefully making me look, you know, presentable. Um, and I have the, the window right in front of me here. It is quite a dark day. We are in the midst of January. It's been a grey, miserable day today, and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. So it's not the brightest at the moment. Um, but what I have done is I've left these lights off so you can see what this area looks like without these lights on. I have the double headed floor standing um, lamp, so which is called the Gemini. So I'm going to put one light on and then the other light on. And can you see how much that illuminates the area here? And what's so great about these lights is they use something called daylight wavelength technology. And it is meant to be as close to natural daylight as is possible and it's very it's unique to serious readers and it really does make that huge difference it's not a glaring bulb it's not a yellowy lamp it's not a fluorescent light it is very very natural but as you can see it is it makes such a difference let's turn them off again so you can see again the difference that that makes so it's quite a lot darker now i'm working on a secret project at the moment <laughs> with some very dark fabric and as it's a dark day obviously you know the more light that you can have the better and um, what I like to do and hopefully you'll be able to see this because they have got such great sort of flexible necks to them I can sort of bend the light down and have it so it's facing exactly where I want it to be 
and it just makes all that difference. If I then need to do anything where I'm working on my lap, I can just bring that up, pull the head down and work on it and that light is directly on there. So it has the flexible stand on it like this. It has the on and off switch. It has a dial on it where you can intensify the light. So it's a much narrower stream, but it's all intensified into that area or I normally have it so it's at its widest, so it covers a, a greater area. And it also has a dial on it to make the lights, oh, I didn't realise they weren't up to their fullest actually. Um, it has a dial on it to make it brighter and dimmer. So yes, it would have been even brighter if I'd had that on full. <laughs> So I have got a discount code for you and it is a £100 off their lights. I'm going to put the code across the screen and I'm going to put details of it in the description box below. Please do go and have a look. It's £100 off their this range of lights. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about Serious Readers. I have to say they are a game changer and I wouldn't be without them. Hiya! So it is Sunday today and today is the day of the Make Sewing Social and I'm very excited about going. I am denied about all sorts of things that I could wear today. I was going, oh, I'll be comfortable, I'll be this, be that, the other. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to make myself feel really nice, have a nice shower, I've done my hair, put some makeup on and I've put on my Zadie jumpsuit, which I absolutely love. I will insert a photo of what it looks like as well. I just love this. I'm so pleased with it. I've made it in this Indian cotton that I got from Make actually and um, I had it in my stash for absolutely ages and then um, got around to making it um, I don't know about a month ago something like that so really really chuffed with it if you want to find out more details about this I have got a video up with some of my recent makes or the last makes for 2023 I think it's called and I'll put a link in here wherever it is on the screen um, so you can go and see it if you want to so I've packed everything up I feel like I've got an enormous amount of stuff with me. I have got my sewing machine and my overlocker and I have got all of the components to make um, the dress for Amy, which is this corduroy, uh, like fawny coloured dress in um, a simplicity pattern. And I will share that with you if I can. In fact, I think what I might do is next Friday, I might do a, a Friday sew. So I'll try and share that with you then if I've got any further with it and then I've taken the fabric for my I keep calling it a Jessica coat again and I'm really sorry I think I'm getting confused with the Jessica blazer from Closet Core but it's actually the Jessie coat again from Sew Over It so I'm sorry if I said that in previous bits on this video but it's actually the Jessie coat again <clears throat> excuse me so I've got the lining fabric and the woolly sort of outer fabric for the coat I think that's why it feels like I've got so much stuff with me because it's it's quite thick bulky fabric so I haven't cut it out I've got the pattern with me and I thought you know what they've got nice big tables there and when I get there I'm gonna kind of go uh, corduroy dress coat corduroy dress coat and then I'll decide and if I decide to start doing the coat I've got all the space to be able to cut it out or I might cut it out and pack that away and sew the dress I don't know I don't know what I'll do but I'll let you know as I'm going I've been very disorganized I haven't got any lunch with me so I think I'm going to have to just pop to the shops very quickly. I think I've got time. So I'm going to go and do that. Um, but yes, is there anything else to say? I don't think there is. So I will share with you a little bit of footage while I'm at the Sewing Social today. I hope that's okay. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hiya. So it is Sunday evening. And guess what? I didn't vlog any of the thing that I did today. <laughs> the sewing social thing that I did today at all I'm terrible aren't I I'll say right I'm going to take you along with me <laughs> I just was having such a lovely day I forgot <laughs> I'm so sorry but it does prove I was in the moment I was in the moment I was enjoying it and it was good um so <laughs> I've come home we've had our evening meal I've just got into my pajamas so I have got on the Grayline studio um Oh, what's it called? Linden sweatshirt and the True Buyers Hudson pants, which I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see it properly because you can't see it while I'm sat here. I am sat with the beautiful Ellie Welly Woo. All right, Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've got a sweatshirt on that I made. Yeah. That is the Stella hoodie from um, the stretch book from Tilly and the Buttons. 
That's nice, that there. I quite like that. I quite like the colour of it and everything. It's got a stripy hood and everything. And Ellen is doing her crochet. Do you want to show them what you've done so far, Ellen? Woohoo! It's coming on. Stripy. Along. Stripy. So you. Ellen is making a jumper. I think we did say earlier in the week, didn't we? But yeah, yeah. she's making a jumper. Are you enjoying doing it? Yeah, it's a nice brick of revision. <laughs> You're a bit tired. <laughs> so, yes, Alan has got an exam tomorrow. So she has literally been revising all day, haven't you? I've been revising all day for about five weeks. Yeah. Oh, my husband's downstairs watching something on the telly and it's really loud. <laughs> he it's loves like, that film. It's his favourite film. He's watching, what's it called I again? iRobot. iRobot. And it sounds like the <laughs> robots are about to come through the floor of the bedroom anyway. I think we've, he just likes Will Smith. I, I think he does, yeah. Anyway, we've come upstairs <laughs> and we've decided we're going to watch something a little less violent and we're going to watch well yeah it can be sometimes we're going to watch call the midwife so i don't know if anywhere else other than the uk gets this program i have absolutely no idea but it's a program that has spanned through the the decades of from the 1950s i think it is of yeah. um uh poplar um london. poplar in poplar in london and it's it follows the lives of midwives in that area and the stories of some of the mothers and families and things and it's, it's just really nice easy watching so we're going to yeah. sit and watch that and just feel all chill Ellen's going to crochet and um and then it's time for bed I think really isn't it so yeah and then exam tomorrow and then she's only got one more to go should be good three down yay <laughs> bless you anyway I shall see you tomorrow and I think I'm going to make tomorrow my last day so I'll see you then bye hiya so I don't know whether this is seven days or not. I have really lost count. I lost two days. I'm hoping it's seven days. If it's not, I think I need to round this video up anyway because it's kind of <laughs> getting quite long. Um, so today I have got on a knitted jumper. So not sewn today, a knitted jumper. I've just got on like a little vest top. I bought one underneath. And this is the Hayfield 10036. I bought the pattern and the yarn, which is a spirit um, double knit yarn from Hobbycraft in Plymouth and it has these little thumb holes like that. I've got on a ready to wear denim skirt and I've got it on, <laughs> now don't be shocked, but I've got it on with purple tights. Woohoo! So I am a black tight kind of girl or a skin type, uh, skin colour girl. Skin colour girl? Skin tight, skin colour, oh my gosh! <laughs> Let's start again. I either wear black tights or skin colour tights. There you go, got my teeth in in the end. Right, so I have got on these purple tights. I was going through my tights and going to pick a pair out and I think these are old ones of my daughter's and I thought, oh, purple, let's go with that. And I'm kind of like, oh, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna be putting on a big pair of welly boots in a minute, in fact, I'll put a picture in once I've gone, because my daughter and I are going out for a walk. Um, I'm going to put on some big welly socks and some um, welly boots and go for this walk. And um, I'm not sure about the purple. I put them on and then I've carried on with my day so far this morning. And I I sort of got part way through the day and I went, I kind of like looked down and went, oh, purple. <laughs> I'm like almost shocked myself that I have purple tights on. So I'm not quite sure about this. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to leave it there today. Like I say, I'm going to go for a walk with my daughter. Got lots of clearing up to do. I'm going to put a bit of footage in of our walk because we're going for a really lovely walk in a lovely, lovely area. And it'd be nice just to show a bit of footage of that. So I'll share that with you. Um, but other than that, I really hope that you've enjoyed this week. I feel like this week has been a little bit of a mis mishmash of stuff. And I am sorry because I want to be able to have really great videos to bring you and um like yesterday i completely forgot to vlog while i was at the sewing social and i'm so annoyed with myself when i got home um so yeah i'm so sorry that i haven't done that i and i promise i will make these videos a bit more interesting my one week me made i do feel like i need to make some more clothes that I can share with you. I feel like everything's on a bit of a repeat at the moment, which is a bit boring for myself and for you. Um, and also I definitely have, in, I've, I've kind of valued what I've done this week because I've definitely brought out a few bits and pieces that I haven't normally worn and evaluated them on why I 
do or don't like them, like the um, layering of the saltwater slip dress and the um, the Estelle dress in that thick knit sweat um, that I had. I'm, you know, just sort of bringing those types of things out is quite interesting for me to kind of go, well, why don't I like them? And I think I'm going to really act on that and make sure that I I don't just have them loitering in my cupboard, taking up space if I don't enjoy wearing them or I don't like them and that kind of thing. But I also, from this week, have definitely um, realised that I need some warmer wear. Now, I feel a bit weird because uh, on one hand, I want to make some warmer stuff, but I know the weather is going to get warmer. So it's like, oh, well, I'll only, I'll only have it for a short amount of time, but I've got to remember I'll wear it next year and when it gets cold again, it's fine. And then it's not going to warm up overnight. It's not going to be warm in like a week's time. So I can make some warmer type style clothes. It's fine. Also, I, I know this isn't something that people like talking about particularly, and I'm sorry, I don't want to upset or offend anybody. Um, but, you know, I'm not, brilliantly happy with my weight at the moment and that is just Christmas and it's fine and I'm not regretting Christmas I've enjoyed myself I've eaten lots and all the rest of it but a combination of Christmas and lack of exercise and all that kind of thing um, means that I have put on inches let's, put, let's say inches because that's what I have put on as well as weight but I have put on inches and a lot of my clothes don't fit me and it's making me a bit sort of hesitant about making new clothes because I'm like oh I don't know you know will I will I tone up again or you know that kind of thing so yeah there's a little bit of a, a bit of all of that going on so there's definitely gaps in my wardrobe, but there's definitely reasons behind there are gaps in my wardrobe. And I hope possibly that this week has portrayed that and that you can relate to that. Or if you do relate to it, that that helps in some way. <laughs> anyway, I, if I don't stop now, I'm going to waffle on for ages. So I'm going to stop now. I hope that you've enjoyed this seeing this week i hope that you are all well i hope that you have been digging out things and trying things that maybe are lurking at the back of your cupboards and sort of re-evaluating things and let me know in the comments below if you've done that and it has helped and it's made you really love an item or decide actually no i don't like that item and um, because it's really interesting to do that anyway i am going to stop i will speak to you all soon you take care bye mm -hmm.